Some of the face of the college football world will be on display tonight as we welcome you to Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Tonight we play for the College Football Playoffs National Championship as it's the USC Trojans taking on the Florida Gators. Set for football now in South Florida. Strap in, folks. It's going to be a good one. And we are underway in the national championship game. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. They go play action here on first down. This complete to the tight end play. And they get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Just like that, a pick up a 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Flush to his right. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On second down now, it's Charles. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Operating from the gun. Gregory. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get this across the midfield strike, but still winding up short of first down. They get Sal there, but it brings up fourth. The USC punter out there now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25 to Will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot him. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards there. So that about the shortest pass a quarterback can make, but it winds up going for a bundle. You know, let's face it, in the stats, it sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball, when you get that little Texas leaguer that turns into a double, you would think that you hit it off the wall. Big time play for him on a short little pass. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Line of scrimmage again to 37 as they line up second and 10. Now White. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. So pass interference, the call is so tough as a defender, I'd imagine, to time that up perfectly. It certainly is difficult to get it exactly right because sometimes you're looking at getting there fractions of seconds too early. That one looked a little more obvious. Always a tough penalty to officiate. Just ask the basketball refs when they have to officiate block and charge. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. We're scoreless after one.
On first down, it's White. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, it's Jennings. And he is in. Touchdown, Gators. Demarcus Jennings. A 12 yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board first here tonight. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. The SC offense about set to take over here. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. And oh, he shot to tackle. Now he's got some space. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. On second and nine, Gregory, screen pass to Charles. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 yards there, first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense, rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one a 14-yard play, and it keeps his drive moving. And he'll run on the inside handoff. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Back to throw. Gregory. He finds his man complete. It's Fields. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Looking to throw. Gregory. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And his kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they do get the three points before they hit halftime. Something to build on, maybe. Yeah, go ahead and raise the banner, right? You'll wave the flag. That's good. Got points. And now, as you said, they got something to build on as they get ready for the second half. The Gator offense about ready to get this next drive started. And with a 7-3 lead, we'll see how aggressive they want to be. On first and 10, White. He's going to let this one go deep. And that's caught at the 25. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call.
A final shot before break. White. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. 23 yards for a touchdown. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped score us in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Just one half remains of the college football season as we begin the second half of this national title game. Ready to begin their next drive. Here's the Florida offense. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, it didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they want to get those running backs going and get them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. A good gain on first has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. He's got the first out of more past midfield. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. They lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing to... And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. From 21 yards away. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. The extra point splits the uprights. And the lead is up to 18 now. Here's Florida now after the touchdown. Back out to kick it off. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Trojan offense ready to get their next drive started. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. Looking for the big chunk now because... And he can't escape and down he goes. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't have made the rush back in the pocket. No gain on the play this time, but it'll be a third and long situation coming up. Back to throw. Gregory. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. Well, really not much secret there. Third and long, Charles, and he was looking to throw the football. And I would imagine as a defender, you're kind of salivating in that spot, right? You certainly are, because third and long situations, they tip the scale towards the defense every single time. Now you're actually able to dictate and understand what the offense is trying to do. You know where the first down marker is? You set your defense that way. And maybe you can be a little more aggressive in certain situations because of that. You start focusing on your coverage assignment, on the ball's released, you break on it and make a play, as we just saw there. Now White. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. From six yards away. And the Gators push that lead out a bit further. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17-yard line. 
The SC offense about set to take over here. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. And here my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. To throw on second and two, Gregory. Can't get away, and he's taken down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. Back now here on EA Sports. As we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. The offense on third down today, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and 15. Looking to throw. Gregory. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. Where they could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. 35 yards that time on the punt. And this offense, they're going to have an excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now White with a first down throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? And a lot of times, these players, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida. A big play there. 44 yards. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Well, they mentioned this week, Charles, they had a couple kinks on offense that they wanted to fix. I would say they're pretty well fixed. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I mean, just about everything they've run has been successful in this one. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I'm done with this, right? I have no answers for anything. In fact, I'd probably send a note to the clock operator and let it run. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25-yard line. The Trojan offense ready to get their next drive started. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means pressure comes, and down he goes. And you can say that is just another cherry on top for this defense and that entire team. But really, this defense has sparked what's been an impressive effort here in this one. And notice you used the word sparked because you're not seeing that on the other side of the ball, are you? The offense right now, the spark has left their game. That's been because of what you described, that defensive pressure. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Gregory. A rifle's one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the <laughs> field. It feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, Florida. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And his guys capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill. But remember, 
This is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead will slow by one more. Here's Florida now after the touchdown, back out to kick it off. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The SC offense about set to take over here. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while? Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. Hey, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try to be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble is kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's, and they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, partner, when the team's up this big, this late in the game, I always wonder what's their motivation because if it's me, I'm thinking about pulling on the reins a little bit. But for them, I don't think it's in their DNA. It's not their head coach's makeup at all. I think his opinion is, you stopped us. We're not supposed to pull back ourselves. Here's Florida now after the touchdown. Back out to kick it off. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Trojan offense ready to get their next drive started. They can't do much at this point, partner. This one is going to go down in the loss column. You don't make up for what has happened during the game in this sequence here. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. So start the celebration in Gainesville. For the first time since 2008, the Florida Gators are national champions.